925, Dividing Fractions. Today we begin by reminding ourselves how dividing fractions works. Let's work on a couple of examples together. If we want to take 7 thirds divided by 7 sixths, how can we solve that? We're going to use a strategy in math where dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So instead of dividing by 7 over 6, we're going to multiply by 6 over 7. This gives us 7 times 6, or 42, across the top, and 3 times 7, or 21, across the bottom. This is what's often referred to as cross-multiplying. Notice 7 times 6 went across the top, and 3 times 7 went across the bottom. To simplify this, we can look for a common factor between the two. It turns out that 40, I'm sorry, 21 goes into both of these numbers. So we can divide both by 21, and we get 2 over 1, which is the same thing as 2. Let's try another one. We'll begin by multiplying 6 times 5 to get 30 on top, and 9 times 5 to get 45 on bottom. We might notice that 5 is a factor for both of these, so let's divide out 5. And we get 6 on top and 9 on bottom. So there was a larger factor. We can divide 3 out of both of these. And we get 2 thirds. Twelve times four is forty-eight. Seven times seven is forty-nine. The only factors of forty-nine are seven times seven. Seven does not go into forty-eight. We cannot simplify this fraction. That's the final answer. Skipping down to the next section, six halves divided by ten ninths. So we will multiply six over nine, which is fifty-four, and 2 and 10, which is 20. Factors of 54 include 9 and 6, as well as 27 and 2. Notice they are both even numbers, so we can divide by 2 on the top and bottom. We end up with 27 over 10. Factors of 27 include 9 and 3, neither of which go evenly into 10, so this is our final answer. Worth noting is that this is considered a top-heavy fraction, 27 divided by 10. We could split this into a mixed number if we wanted to. How many times does 10 go into 27? Well, it goes in twice, that'll give us 20, with a remainder of 7, 2 and 7 tenths. You can leave them as top-heavy fractions on this worksheet, though. We'll go down and do the next one. 9 times 10 is 90. 5 times 11 is 55. We notice that 5 goes into both of these, so we'll divide 5 from the top and the bottom. This gives us 18 on the top and 11 on the bottom. 11 is a prime number, so there are no factors that go evenly into it. Therefore, it's our final answer.